Hey, good evening, everybody. Make sure that's framed up well. All right, we are going to be playing a bit more of this. Um, I played it on my last stream, but, uh, or well, not my last stream. My last stream was like a, I don't know, I was just punching out board game tiles, so I figured I'd stream that. It took like an hour or something. You can check it out in the past, past broadcast tab. Uh, and then, yeah, before that, after my Oath game, because it went pretty quick, I did a quick game of this. But this is the Stardew Valley board game based on the video game Stardew Valley. Uh, I enjoy it a lot. It's very hard. So I'll probably play a couple games of this on this stream. And I'll kind of explain it as I go, since I'm playing it solo. But the general idea is that you have your pawn. I'm doing red right here. Whoops, come on. Red right there. Uh-oh. Oh, yep. Okay, everything's fine. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be playing red. And basically, you just uh, flip one of these season cards. Let's see what we got. Water twice. So we hit the button over here for water. All right, and that means we get this parsnip that we can uh, sell. And once we've done that, now we pick a spot in the valley here to start our turn. I like to start over here so that I can... Uh, go to Pierre and buy some seeds. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to start there. I'm going to spend all of my money. It's one coin per seed. And I'm going to drop another parsnip, a potato, and a cauliflower. All right, and that's all of my money. Now, I could either stay here to make a friend at Gus's, or I could move back to water my crops again, and I would be able to get some wood, which I'm going to need for this goal. i got to build one of these, and they all require some amount of wood. So... Uh, well, I do really need to make friends, and it's not that hard to get wood over the course of the game, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to try and make a friend. Hopefully they want this crop. So here we go. Pick a villager card, and it is Emily. Emily hates crops, so she is out of the game. Oh, that's brutal. Okay, well, I get to go back here, and I get to do one of the... Whoops. One of these end-of-turn actions, but I unfortunately don't have anything for it. So in that case, we are going to go to the next day. And we got star, so that means I get to flip one of these to quality. Let's go with the potato. It's in a little bit of a safer space. And then we have the shipping bin, which means that we could do a bit more. Uh, I'm not going to in this case. I am going to water my crops. And then I'm going to move up to explore the mine. And I get to pick one of these forageables. I'll take this guy. Awesome, that's a mineral. Uh, I do actually really need minerals because this goal and this goal require minerals. And this one. So, let's pull one out. There we go, Alexandrite. Right, right? No, Alamite. Had a few too many syllables on there. Okay. So that's pretty good. Now I'm going to explore the mine. To explore the mine, we take two of the Stardew die. This guy, and this guy. And we're gonna roll them. Let's see what we get. Okay, we got a Junimo and a Heart. So we reference the chart, so we have nothing. As you can see, it's the cross section, so it's that middle top one, which is nothing, or the middle left, which is a mine event. So let's do the mine event. And we get two ore, any two we want. So I'm going to take a copper, and which is just on the opposite side of this geode, and an iron, so that I can upgrade my pickaxe since it is the end of my turn. So I hop back here. And then, yeah, I can, uh, whoops. I can upgrade my starting tool. So I am going to, I will do that twice. One with the copper. And one with the uh, iron. As long as you have the stuff, you're allowed to do the end of turn actions as many times as you like. A lot of the uh, actions in this game you can do multiple times. So that's, that's very nice. Uh, we'll just toss these back here. So now when I go to the mines... Uh, as long as I don't roll a monster, I can move it one up or one to the left. Although rolling a monster isn't always that bad. In this case, you get a stone, so you get something for it. That's not too bad. Um, okay, so yeah, that is the end of that turn. 
Not up to a rocketing start. Oh, there it is. Crow. So yeah, let's get rid of the parsnip. He's a green crow, so he eats one of these green fields. And then an event. What does the event give us? We get one wood, one stone, and one iron ore. So I'm going to take this wood. I'm going to take a stone. And then the iron ore is on the opposite side of the frozen geode. So if I'd known about that, I probably would have saved it. That's fine. That's fine. And now it is the uh, shipping bin. I could sell something, but I'm not going to. Um, I need at least one heart. Hmm. Well, okay, let's water our crops. And then we're going to hop over here, grab this wood. We're going to need it. And we're going to make a friend. Hopefully they want something we got. It's... Uh, Pam. Pam will take that parsnip. Awesome. And Pam, because it's one of her loved ones, so we get one for giving her something that she doesn't hate, which is on the right side. We give get an extra one if it's something she loves, which she does. It's a crop. And it's her birthday this season, spring, so we get a third one. Uh, her ability is not great. Peek at the top of the villager deck. I, I could probably do better than that, but that's fine. So, that means we get three hearts, which is super useful. Generally, you'd only need them for uh, revealing bundles, because in the standard game, these start face down, but I'm doing a slightly easier version because this game's really hard. It's, it's just very hard. So, with that, let's see. So, we watered, we made a friend. Um, stone, we grabbed a wood, we grabbed another wood. Uh, yes, so that's everything for this turn. So we go back up here. Apologies, my mouth is kind of kind of noisy. And we can build some stairs. So I'm going to build some stairs to descend into the mine. All right, level two. That's what we got going on, and we can get... Well, nothing happens if it's the monster one, at least, so that's cool. Sorry, not trying to make noise directly into the mic. Uh, do we need the ore for anything up here? No, but we do need a forgeable, so I'll have to keep that in mind. But first, spring. All right, quality crops. So we'll flip the cauliflower, then we water everything. Nice. Which gets me this potato, which I'll be able to... I don't believe... I need a quality animal product. That one's going to be pretty tricky. But yeah, we can uh, sell this potato. Uh... That would change the first player marker, but in this case it doesn't do anything. And then we do the fish track. So two of them go away, two new fish come in. So now we got the rainbow trout, the walleye, and some algae. And if we get this walleye, we get an item. So that's cool. Okay, and now I'm going to sell... Yeah, I'm going to sell the, both of these so that I can get six gold from Pierre. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, yes, I did that correct. I don't really like this bowl. Everything else about this mod is really good, but this bowl is really annoying. It's not a great way to uh, be able to see everything you have. All right, so that's that. I need to get at least one forageable before it switches seasons. So let's water again. And I'm going to hop over. Please be forgeable, I need. Yes, a leak. Great. And then we are going to try, well, do I need another friend? No, I'm going to I'm going to do one of these bundles. So do I want to do this? Let me I'll do the enchanter. So that means I get rid of this mineral. Whoops, goes in the artifact and mineral bank. Come on. And I have to get rid of one of these hearts. And then we will turn this sideways to show it's been done. And I get an item, which is something I messed up the last time I played this, but it actually made things harder for me. So, not the biggest mistake um, as far as the game. I wasn't cheating or anything, you know, it made it harder. All right. Uh, if there is the gift action up in here, then I can discard this to gain any two crops. Any two crops. Really? Okay. That's that's cool. 
Okay, so that was there anything else? Oh yeah, I can do the spring forgeable, so I will get rid of my leak. Because you are allowed to do it as many times as you have stuff. So we got that, and then I'll get another item. You can only hold up to two at a time. Mega Bomb. Discard while at the mine to trigger three mine grid spaces. Wow, that's really useful. Okay, I will keep that in mind. So then we're going to hop back over here. And I don't really have anything here. We don't have any Jojo. We don't have pets. No stone. And I don't have any gold ore. They need to upgrade this. So we're solid on that. And this is the end of spring. All right, spring has ended. Place new trees and forgeable tiles, which thankfully is just a button in this mod. It can do it all automatically for you. And then I draw two profession upgrades and keep one. But in the solo game, you'd actually draw three from separate sets. So we're going to draw mining. Three mining are the ones I want to do. And then I get to pick one. Hmm. I think I'll do this one because I need to get specific minerals. Or rather, I need to specifically get minerals and artifacts. So that'll be very helpful. Okay. So now we start summer. Whoops. Summer. Come on, come on. There we go. Oh, it is the Dance of the Moonlight Jellies. Treat this card as if it were any previously discarded season card. Uh, okay. So, not that one. Uh, this one was pretty good, but not super useful right now. That's a good event, but I don't want the crow. No, don't want the quality. Ugh. Guess we'll go with this one. It's not great because I can't get the quality, but I can water my crops, which is pretty good. And I can move the fish track. So I won't be able to get the item, but ah, there we go. Riverfish, legendary, and as it says up here, it can be an ocean or a legendary fish. So let's drop all these back on correctly. So we are going to head over to the river. Uh, well, uh, oh, I got all the time in the season to get, head back over to uh, Biers. So let's uh, let's do some river fish. And so in this case, we take all three Stardew die. And we roll them. All right, so two Junimo and purple. So we look at the ones that are appropriate here. And it looks like we can get both of these fish. Awesome. Because you only spend, you can spend all of these. You just can't overlap them. So awesome, that means I will have this to go out. I will have this to sell. Uh, let me see, because I still got one left. Can I do something about that algae? Whoops, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, whew, it was loading for a second. That wouldn't have been bad. Oh, come on. Try I'm trying to make it go too quick. I just, I know what page I'm looking for, and it's much further along. I don't want to keep everybody waiting. Come on, fishing. Come on, fishing. Come on, fishing. That's the mine. Fishing, here we go. Okay, I already know all that. Crap, if you catch no fish, you can take a trash tile. Okay, so yeah, I can't do anything about that. That's fine, though. So that's the end of that action, and we are going to fill the fish track. Fill the fish track. There we go. Okay, and then... It's going to be a waste of an action no matter where I go. I guess we'll go up here. And I will get a forgeable. It is a fiddlehead fern. Interesting. All right, and I can't do any of this, so not 
really a great turn, but could have been worse. Definitely had worse. Okay, uh, well, no crops to water. And an event card. All right, found a lost book. Starting player gains a random fishing upgrade. Since I am the only player, I get barbed hook. When fishing, this adds one stardew fruit. I don't know what they're called to your roll. So that's pretty useful. And then yeah, I can uh, I can sell some stuff. Uh, am I gonna need any of this stuff or these? Nope. So yeah, let's sell this for four plus this for seven. Plus this for 13. Wow. Ending up with quite a bit. All right. I'll make sure. Yep. And then I'll just grab a couple of five tokens. I'll just put them there. Because they'll be harder to read in the bowl. Okay. That's pretty good. Uh, let's... We don't have any crops, so let's head over here so that we can buy some summer crops. And we'll buy one of each. There are four total. So we'll just drop those in the bag. And we will get a hot pepper, a blueberry, a melon, and a star fruit. All right. Um, and I don't have anything that I need to sell right now. So let's let's head up north and actually buy our building because we have enough now. It costs 10. So we'll just drop those right back in. And my two wood, which is a fine. That's what I wanted them for anyways. All right. Oh, and we get a forgeable. Oh, it's a mineral. Perfect. Perfect. And that's okay. That's sandstone, which is considered a mineral. Cool. And then we will get a building. Let's go with the coop because all of its animals are cheaper and I need to be able to get some. Okay, and then that's my turn. Hop over here. Nothing to do there. Oh boy, I really need to get cranking on the mine. I'm taking my sweet time with that. Okay. Here we go. All right, quality of fruit. We'll go with. Let's be risky and go with the melon. Water the crops. Starting player would change. And then fish track is moved. Ooh, a snail. Uh, these are the crab pot fish, so you just have to discard a bug meat to get them. All right. That's pretty good. Nothing to sell right now. So let's actually water our crops again. No, you know what? Actually, ugh, I messed that up. Hold on. I'm actually not going to water my crops. Instead, I will actually start in the mines. Yes, I'll start my turn in the mines. And I'm going to go mining. So let's take two of these. Oh, come on. Here we go. Okay, purple and heart. So I could either get two stone or an event. Let's go two stone, because I can use that to descend a couple levels at the end here. All right, and then... Um... Ah... Okay, I'm going to use the Mega Bomb, which I guess would go... Well, that's an item, so it would go in the item discard. I'm going to trigger the stone again so I can get four. And I'm going to trigger the event. Let's see what the event does. <gasps> Gain an epic item. Awesome. Okay. Uh, come on, give me the item. It's... The greenhouse. May plant crops from any season. Place crops quality side up. Counts toward expand the farm goal. Awesome. So that means I already... Well, I already did this anyways because I did this. Dang it. Ah, I wish I'd gotten that before I did that. Whatever. It's all good. Uh, what was this? Museum slots. Okay, I do need to donate there. Okay, so that's pretty good. Um... 
And it's got to be three, I guess. Well, let's pull another item and see if it's better than the seeds. Uh, oh, that's what I need. Yes, I need some animal product. Any, an well, it's not any quality animal product, though. Uh, uh, but, uh, I don't know. It's not worth it. I'd rather have this because it can get me money. Money will be very useful. Okay, okay, so I did the mine, and then I discarded that to get some extra stuff. Now we're going to hop down here, which gets us a forgeable. Dang it, it's a spice berry. Ah, crap, I was hoping... I was hoping it'd be like a mineral or an artifact or something. Oh, well. And then, yeah, we are going to donate to the community center. We have a legendary fish now, so we will donate that. Which gets us an item, which is the chest. Store up to four tiles. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, no, that's much better than the seeds. Expanded inventory? Are you kidding? That's awesome. Okay, it's only storage during plannings, though, so you're not allowed to just sell stuff from it during your turn. But that's fine. That's very fine. Okay, and then we will also donate the sandstone mineral to fill out that one. And I will get another item for that. It's a, a bucket. Pet bowl. Spend one action. Place a heart. Oh, uh, I don't really need hearts that bad. So let's get rid of that. Okay, and that's my turn. So yeah, I'm going to take four. Four descend into the mine actions. Uh, whoops. Come on. Please tell me this will work. Ah. Almost. Ooh, almost. There we go. Okay, so that's four. So I descend in one, two, three, four times. Okay, now the monster action is gain one stone and end your turn. Well, that, that kind of sucks, but all right. Ooh, and that's a very packed mine. I'm definitely going there on my next turn. But that is the end of my turn, so we're going to... Oh, that's the end of summer. Oh, no. Ooh, two quality crops. All right, let's do these then. So in that case, I am going to water my crops to get a hot pepper. And then I'm going to hop over here, get this last forageable. A sweet pea. And then we're going to go into the mine. What can we do? It's... Okay. It's those guys. So they're both monsters. Gain one stone and end your turn. Well, I still gained the stone at least. And that would have been the end of my turn anyways. So that's fine. And then we're just going to use it to descend into the mine. All right. And that is the end of summer. So we replace everything, set up the next season. We're halfway through. Ooh, it's going to get a little dicey, but I think we're going to be able to manage. Just barely. I really need to get some more friends. All right, and then I pick another profession upgrade. We're going to go with mining. Mining. Yeah, let's just keep going with mining. So we have Ring of Yoba. You may ignore the effects of monsters. Could be good. Master Slingshot. If you roll a monster in the mine, may discard a stone to ignore it. Uh, no. Not super useful. This is either uh, Blacksmith or and Stone generate plus two gold when you sell them. Ooh, that could be pretty good. And Prospector. Artificial... Art of... Art of I'm reading it upside down. Artifacts generate plus two gold when you sell them. Those are pretty good. I think I'll go with the Ring of Yoba. Well, wait, what did I have here? Uh, actually, I'm just not going to take any. So, we'll just discard all of those, and on to the next season. All right, watering our crops, which gets me a blueberry. Then we're going to do an event, which is weather report. Look at next season card. 
Uh, I guess I just get to see what it is. Okay. Uh, oh, it's two crows. Oh, boy. Okay. So I should probably water a couple times. Hmm. Well, I'll water once to save this melon. And then I'm going to hop over here. Grab this. Ah, it's a stone. Nice. And we're going to make a friend. I should definitely have at least one thing that whoever it is likes. It's Marnie. Yes, Marnie. Marnie. Okay. So she has a fall birthday. Great. Uh, she loves animal products. I don't have any. And she likes everything else. So we will give her... Ooh, everything's pretty nice. Um, I can't give her the stone. I'll give her the sweepy. I'll give her a sweepy. And that'll get us two hearts. All right. And she is gaining a random animal product. Okay. And can I make a friend twice? Uh, whoops. Hold on. My roommates are texting me. All right. Um, let's see. What am I looking for? I, I was going to look for something. Oh, right, the make a friend action. Can I do it multiple times? Nope, per action. So I am done with friend making for today. But I can descend in the mines with this stone. It would generally be one her player, but since there's only one player here, that is me, um, then, yeah, should be, should be fine, um, gonna tuck that up there, and we already know it's the two crows, so I'm gonna lose this star fruit. tears, 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 okay, I still need a quality animal product, I need to make one more friend, I'm getting close to the bottom of the mine, Hmm, the museum still needs a couple things. I need more gold. Okay, um... We're gonna hop over here. We're gonna try and make a friend. It is... Linus! Hey, I like Linus. Okay, um, I don't have any forgeables, unfortunately. I gave Marnie my forgeable. But that's fine. I can just give him... Hmm... I'll give him the hot pepper. I'm sure he'll like that. Uh, oh, actually, nope. Goes over here. And that gets me a heart. He has a winter birthday, though, so not too much. And that is one random item from discard pile. Ah, because he's a dumpster diver. I get it. That's cute. All right, and that fulfills that. And then we are also going to spend four to get... Uh, the new seeds. We got bok choy, eggplant, cranberries, and a pumpkin. And I can also sell, so I'm going to sell the both of these, which is nine gold, which I'm going to hang on to. Oops, I think I took too many. No, that's correct. Cool. And then, yeah, I will... Spend those to uh, go up here later. But I already made my friend and everything, so that's the end of this turn. Nothing I can do, really. So we are going to start a new turn in just a minute. Ah, uh, thanks for the, the good luck, Fancy Zergling. I hope I hope you don't feel ignored. I'm, I'm focused, because yes, this game is very fickle and very hard. Um, It's fun. Uh, I would say the thing I heard in the Shut Up and Sit Down review, which is what a lot of people have been hearing about it from, is, oh, it's nothing like the game. The game's all relaxing, and you can take your time, and then the this game is hard, and you never have enough time to do everything, and you're running out of time, and it's like, I don't think you're playing Stardew Valley super optimally. You don't have to, but having played Harvest Moon, their hardcore strategy games, in essence, like, they, they look like they're gentle farming games but if you want like a soft comforting game animal crossing is what you want stardew valley like it, you never have enough hours in the day to get everything you want done so this 
has that feeling perfectly. Uh, but it is very hard. I won only once, and that was on the last stream. And that's still in the easy mode. Like, this this is easy mode we're playing right now. Uh, I am going to take a quick break. I'll be right back to uh, finish up this game. And I'll probably get a second game in on this stream. But for the for the time being, I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Don't touch the internet dial. BRB.
Hey, okay, I'm back. Apologies. Ah, oh, crap, did I accidentally... I had the wrong... Yeah, I had the wrong screen up. Hold up. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to be. <coughs> that's fine. Uh, I mean, it looks like I still have the single viewer I had when I left. Thanks for sticking around. I'm not gonna make bones about it. I'm still a small channel, but I'm affiliate, so... I've at least earned that much. Alright. So we had finished that turn. So we are gonna get into the next day of fall. It's another crow. We're getting rid of the eggplant, which is in a red and green field, so you can apply it to that. And then we get a gift. Ooh, what do we want? Hmm. We get an animal product. Random item from the discard. Let's go with an animal product. So we take an animal die. And we roll it. Cows, so we get some milk. Milk? Yeah, we get some milk. Nice. Um, I need a quality animal product is the big thing. That's going to be tricky to do. All right, and I get an event card. Keep this and re... Uh, what does that say? Discard to re-roll any die once. Ooh, that's useful. Okay. Let's... Let's hang on to that. And I could sell the milk, but I'm actually doing quite well on money. Um, so I'm going to water my crops. No, I need to get into that mine. So, first and foremost, let's see. Yeah, I want to go by mm, the community center. To, nope, not that. What am I... Oh, yeah, the, the 10... Coins. Oh, and that one didn't go in, but that's fine, because it should have gone in there anyways. All right, so that pays off the vault. And that gets us one more item. What do we get? It's the heater. Uh, well, no, that's, I don't need that. I'm planning on getting one animal at most, so I should be good. All right, and then I'm going to hop over to the mine, and we're going to grab this, which is a wild plum. Well, that's nice. It's not what I want, but it's nice. And, yeah, we're going to explore this mine. Let's do it. Okay, we got... Er, well, this is duplicable, so we'll say we got these two. I messed that up a little bit. I was only supposed to do two. But uh, we'll get bug meat or nothing. So let's take the bug meat. Which could be helpful. And that is the end of that turn. I don't have any stone or anything. So we're going to hop along. Oh, last day of fall. Let's make the cranberries quality. And we will do an event card. Choose and gain any common item from the discard. Uh, Well, I mean, I discard them all for a reason. Oh, the Mega Bomb, though. The Mega Bomb. Uh, oh, yeah, and this doesn't count towards my item limit. Uh, there it is. That's what I want. Yes, 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 yes. That is great. Okay. Oh, in our first JoJo tile, I'm surprised we haven't run into any of these. So here's what they are, and the river fishing is shut down. I could pay to get it out of there which would cost some hearts, and I definitely have plenty. So I may do that if I have nothing else better to do. Um, and I could sell some stuff, so I will. I will sell this plum and this milk. Or the milk goes in here. The plum goes over here. Uh, and you know what? I will sell the bug meat as well. I'm not planning on getting a crab pot. Creatures, so that gets me five. And I believe I need one more for a duck. Yes? Yeah, one more for a duck. So we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Um, oh boy. Okay. We're gonna, well... No, we're gonna have to mine hard this turn. We're getting, we're getting to the, the end of it. So we're gonna roll these. And we got two Joja or a uh, Jum Jumino Junimo. I forget; it's been a minute. But I got a mine event. It is heart gain two heart tokens. Well, that's nice. I definitely do not need them at this point, but 
At least I got him. Hmm. And then I could discard this. Oh, I'd lose items. Hmm. I am going to use the Mega Bomb. I'm going to use it for another mine event. Great. Nothing. Uh, I'm going to use it for a bug meat. Why not? Whoops. Hey, stop it. And I'm going to descend in the mine. Level 9. Ooh, that's going to be rough. That's fine. Okay, and then, yeah, I'm going to use my second action to do the mine again. Because I need some stuff. Okay, that gives us... A mine event or an item. I'm going to go with a mine event. It is one random mining upgrade. Okay, and that is the slammer. Ah, uh, that's just for part tokens, which I definitely have more than enough of. Well, that was disappointing, but whatever. I haven't really used this, but since I got it, I haven't really run out. Ah. Uh, Oh, right, I was supposed to, when I planted these, because I had that, they were supposed to be quality side up. That's, that's fine. It was not the worst thing to forget. All right, and then, yeah, I will use a heart token to get rid of that Joja tile. I don't think it'll matter too much at this point, but you know what? No reason not to. And then, yeah, we're gonna set up the next season. And there are no crops for winter, because, I mean, you can't grow stuff in winter. It's cold. So we're going to go with mining once again. And we get... Okay, so this is gemologist, which gets me plus two when I sell minerals. Or excavator spend two actions to gain an artifact. Okay, I'm going to take... Well, let me see what the others are. Draw a mine event card. Okay. Gain any ore or geode. Or... Oh, yeah, I mean, I only need specifically artifacts, so I can waste a couple turns doing that. So, yeah, we're going to do that right there, and we're going to switch it out for this fishing one. Get those out of the way. So, yeah, now gain one artifact, and I just have to spend my entire turn. Okay, so we get the next season card. Uh, that guy would move. Fish will move. Mm, oh, well, there's the legend, but nothing I can really do with that right now. And I will sell this bug meat for the one last coin I need to buy that duck. Uh, I will water my crops. No, wait, no, no, no. Actually, yeah, yeah, I'll water my crops. Then I will hop over here. I'll grab whatever this is. Holly. And then, yeah, I will buy an animal for six. And I will buy a duck. Because I still need that quality crop. All right. And that'll be my turn. I'm going to pet my duck for one heart. And that will flip him over to his content side, which will give me a quality duck feather uh, if I can manage. So that's my turn. Please, nothing bad. Okay, not too bad. Fish move. Newspaper. Oh, the pike is very hard to get. Then we'll get a Joja tile. And it is the ocean. I don't really care at this point. All right. So... If we collect from the animals, what's my likelihood of getting... Uh... Okay, yeah, I'm gonna do spirits are happy if I need to. But I really need a duck feather, so let's... let's do that. These are the wrong dice, what am I doing? 
Okay, let's let's grab the animal dice. All right, I just need one duck. Duck, 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 duck. All that. So yeah, we're gonna have to get rid of this to re-roll those. I have to get a duck. Come on. There's my guy. All right, so that gets me a quality duck feather because he is content, which is gonna go up here. Um. So I will just hop over there and do that. Which is another holly right there. And yeah, we're gonna donate this duck feather, which gets me the last one of those and an epic item. In this case, it's the Deluxe Scarecrow. Crows do not affect your crops. Instead, when they appear, water all crops. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. That's a very good outcome. Then we'll go back here. Nothing much to do. So we're gonna go... Oh, I totally forgot I had this. Oh, I would have totally used it earlier. Yeah, whatever. Hmm, okay. So another season card. There's only two left in here, so I have to do a couple artifacts. Yep, okay, and then I get a gift. Uh, what do I want? Random items from discards. Uh, we'll do a random animal product. Why not? I get milk. All right, and then, yeah, we're going to donate all of these. Just drop them over here. It doesn't matter because it's digital. And that will get me seven gold. And then we're going to hop over here. Uh, well, we're not going to hop over there. It's not going to matter because I'm going to spend both my actions to gain an artifact. I don't really care. Whoop, that's fish. Artifact, come on. There's one. And that is my turn. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, wait, no. No! Oh, I timed it out wrong. No! Oh, oh man, no. No, I'm going to lose here. One random fish, so we get a periwinkle. Well, isn't he cute? Well, let's let's see what our last artifact would have been, which is oh, it's a dried starfish, and that's the end of the game. Well, crap, I got to level nine, and I got both of the artifacts. I just didn't have enough time to donate them. Got all of these. Didn't win, though. I was close. Didn't win. Whenever it's Descent to the 12th level of the mind, that one's always absurdly difficult, especially by yourself. Because there's only so much you can really do, you know? So, that sucks, but whatever. We are going to reset and start a second game. That is wrong. That's what I need. Load it up. All right. Load it in. Got a lot, for some reason these aren't locked, which is a little annoying, but it's not that bad. And then yeah, set up randomized your game. Just love how the gold like slides in like that. All right, and we're still gonna be doing the slightly easier variant of these all being. Whoa, whoa what? These all being revealed at the beginning. Okay. There we go. All right. So what do we want? What do we want? Let's see. We need the museum, the animals, starting tools, and friends. So we're going to need to do some mining, but not a ton. We need to make some friends. We need forgeables. We need some fish. Hmm, mining or fish? I'm going to go with mining. We'll start with that. And 
Here we go once more. All right, starting off with a crow. Great. So we lose our starting crop. Awesome. And a gift, which is useless to us at this point. And an event. Keep counts as a legendary fish. May sell for five gold, gift, or donate. Well, that's helpful at least. So I will donate that to uh, this guy right here. And I could sell stuff, but I have nothing to sell. So let's just head over to the community center. Uh, or rather, head over to Pierre's. Sell these three coins. Or rather, use those three coins to buy three crops. And we're going to go the three lower ones. And you may wonder, if they cost the same, why would I go with the lower ones? It's because they're a little safer. The more I can have in this middle one, where I can, you know, kind of protect it is helpful, but not always the best. And then, can I make a friend? No, I'm going to hop over here and I'm going to water my crops and grab, well, uh, well, yeah, I'm going to need some wood to do one of these. All right, first turn, not super strong. Second turn, gift again, nothing I can do with that yet. Event cards. Gains a random upgrade from any profession deck. Well, we're going to go mining. And that's this thing. What does that do? After resolving a monster's ability, gain any ore or geode. Oh, that's very useful. Oh, excuse me. And then we got Joja. That goes over Pierre's. Players may not buy more than one seed per action. That sucks. Oh, boy. I'm going to have to really get rid of that one. Okay, and then, yeah, I could sell stuff, but I have nothing to sell. So let's, let's water our crops. And then head over, and I'm actually going to want to hang on to that for this. And head over to the mine. And we'll grab this, which is a horseradish. Nice. Uh, oh yeah, and I need a spring forgeable, so that's good. And yeah, let's let's mine it up. What do we got? It's all right, red and purple, so we can get a stone. That's a good enough start. Oh, I don't know why I flipped that. We're gonna hop back, and we're gonna descend into the mine level. Right. Yeah. Perfect. And that is that turn. Next up, we have make a quality crop, so I will make the potato, because it is hopefully more likely to come out. I'm not going to sell these, because uh, that would be a bit a bit wasteful. We are going to go into the mine again. All right, two hearts. Mine event. What do we got? Gain any two tiles from the fish track. All right, I'll gain some of the expensive ones. Well, glacier fish, of course, which I'm not going to spend on this. And, oh, yeah, I need uh, any fish. Okay. We'll go with walleye. Why not? I'll fill the track. Okay, and a snail came out. So we're going to tuck him away. We're going to sell him. We're going to donate all of these, depending on whether or not I'm going to need to give them to somebody. Okay, I'll probably... Yeah, we're going to make a friend here, so let's see. Who do we got? It's Marnie! Marnie likes anything except stone and geode, so Marnie is getting a leak. And Marnie has a fall birthday, so unfortunately we're only getting one heart. Not being able to give her any loved thing. Which is unfortunate, but you know what? Life goes on. So let's hop up here. <coughs> As one of the three friends we need. Then I have nothing I can really do at this point. Uh, I'm going to need this heart. In fact, I'll put that heart on the wall eye so I don't forget that that is what it's for. Yep, so let's move on. Oh, it's the Egg Festival. Each player rolls an animal die. For each chicken, gain five gold. Okay, well, uh, that's not an animal die. Come on, chicken. 
Come on, chicken. It's a duck. Well, that's fine. Bit of a waste as far as those go. All right, and then I'm going to... Hmm. I do need more wood. I hate that all the wood is in this corner because there's not really a ton of great stuff to do over here. You can pretty much only buy animals, do the river fishing. So... Uh, right now, I suppose I will explore the mine, then I'll hop down to the community center to donate some of this stuff. Two hearts. Mine event. It is... Gain three forgeable tiles from the board. Um... Is wood considered a forgeable tile? Because that would be very helpful. Actually, I think it'd be back here. Um, okay. Nope, forgeable is very specific. Okay, well, we got a daffodil. Give me an artifact. We got stone. Um, which is more valuable than the daffodil to me. So we'll get rid of that. Get in the bag. Get in the bag! Oh my god, come on, get in the bag! Why will it not go in the bag? There we go. And we'll take this one, because I'm never going to get out there. There we go! Give me an artifact. It's an ancient doll. Spooky. Uh, oh no. Well, that's better than stone for me, really, so I'll hang on to it. All right, and then, yeah, we're going to move down here. We're going to get this. That's useless, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I don't need that. Or wait, what's this? The well needs stone. Yeah, no, this this fiber is useless to me. Go in the bag. Oh my god. Won't do it. Alright. Alright, alright. Let's let's do some donating. So we'll toss the parsnip on this one. We will toss the horseradish on this one. We will use this for the legendary fish. And we will use these for this one. Okay, that's four of them. And I need ten gold and any bug meat. I haven't fulfilled any of these. Okay, I just got to upgrade my starting tool twice, which isn't too difficult. And I do got to get some other stuff going on, but that's fine. That's fine. So I get four items from all of that. Uh, let's just hit four. No, they don't work like work like that in this one. Uh, drop those down, and then spread them. That wasn't helpful. <laughs> what do I have? Universally loved gift. Uh, give to any villager. Cool. Discard to peek the top cart. No, I don't care. Hmm. Ooh, I... I mean, I'm not needing to get down to the bottom of the mine this time, so... I will take the prismatic shard. And then the rest of these... Uh, wait. No, no, what am I doing? I can pick two. I have room for two. So... Yeah, I'll also take the pearl. What am I doing? Technically, I got all four. I just only have room for two. So I don't know what what's in my brain that I thought that. Whatever. Okay. That's the end of my turn. Nothing doing about this right now. And that's the end of spring. So we're going to set up the next season. 
I'm going to do some stuff here. What more do I need? Farming. Let's do some farming stuff. What do we got? We got these. We got cheese press. Double the gold received when you sell cow or goat milk. Eh. Okay, spend one action to discard crops to gain heart tokens. Now, loom. Double the gold received when you sell wool. I'm not going to do any of those things. Hmm. How much is a sheep? A sheep is the most expensive. I'm going to do the cheese press. I don't really want it, but... I'll take it, I guess. It's my choice. All right. First day of summer, and we got a crew. Great. So, yeah. Uh, Let's get rid of the strawberry that was going to take too long anyways. Then we get a gift, which in this case is one random animal product. What are you getting us, Marnie? Marnie, what are you giving us? Why, it's a goat. Uh. Oh, okay, that's actually super helpful. Because that means that I can get double the gold when I sell this. Yeah, and I don't need an animal product for any of this stuff. Cool. That's actually, it worked out. Okay, and then we get an event. It's draw and keep one towel from the fishing bag. Ooh, a puffer fish. Nice, I like this guy. It's a solid fella. All right, so I'm going to sell them and this guy. This guy is worth six because of my cheese press. That's six, so that's 12, 16 total. That's pretty good. Uh, we'll just drop them in the spring. Doesn't really matter. All right, 12. Grab two of those. And two of those. Okay, I need one more wood to buy uh, my coop. Or, well, yeah, no, I'm gonna buy the coop. Because it's cheaper. It's just overall much cheaper. Um... And I'm going to buy a couple of the crops for this season. So we're going to buy a spicy pepper and a melon. So that'll cost us two. Um, and we'll water our crops so that I can get the second wood I need. Water crops. I got a potato. It's lovely. It's quite lovely. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So that's my turn. Nothing else I can really do. What's next? Quality crop. Make it the spicy pepper. Change that. Fish move. And we're going to hang on to the potato because I still need to make friends. Uh... Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to make some friends. So we're going to use the pearl for safety. We got Sam. And we got Elliot. So pearl is discarded. And Sam likes him some potato. And it's summer, so he gives us three hearts. Nice. Sam's a bro. All right, ooh, and you gain an ore. Elliot can f forget about it, get out of here. So I get three heart tokens. I need one more befriend. So I will just uh, do it right here because I got the prismatic shard and Haley is gonna, Haley? Yes, Haley. I don't know why I couldn't remember right then. And yeah, that gets me two hearts. I don't like the noise that the, the hearts make. Uh, spring birthday, so nothing special. But uh lets you get gold. Nice, nice. All right, and that gets us the three friends we need for that. Perfect. That's the end of this turn, but I did pretty solid, I think. All right. Next up, we get a quality crop. We get... Oh, that quality crop is about to get eaten by a crow. So never mind. 
Uh, that would move, and we get a gift. I'm going to go with any one ore. I don't think the ore will help me here. Oh, wait, it'll help me with this. So, yeah, I'm going to get a copper. Copper ore. Okay. And then we could sell, but I don't really want to sell anything. We're going to start out up here and buy a coop for the two wood and all that. All right, coop built. Then we're going to hop down here so that we can get another forgeable. It's a fiddlehead fern. Then we're going to donate to the museum. And we're going to donate this doll. All right. Ancient doll. Okay, and then uh, I got to do that twice. Let me see. Do you get an item for that? Uh, no, you only get them when you fill the column, which I've never even come close to doing, so I don't need to worry about that. Okay, so that's the end of that turn. I'm going to upgrade my starting tool. Yup. And that is it for that turn. All right, water crops, which gets us a spicy pepper. And a vent. Starting player gains a random farming upgrade. It is uh, rancher. Animal products generate plus two gold, or crops generate plus two gold. Let's go with crops, and I'm gonna get rid of this cheese press because I don't think I'm gonna need it again. There we go, and then I'm gonna sell. All right, and just double checking. Yep, so this is worth five, which means this is going to be nine total. Nice. We're going to drop the... Whoa, no, 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 no. Back. Put it back. That's nine. All right. We're going to... Yeah, we're going to buy some animals. So let's get a coop. Yeah, let's let's get a coop. Animal, uh it's going to be Oh, uh, let's go with I think duck. Yeah, they make slightly better stuff. I just like the ducks, they're cute. Yeah, and the rabbit is so expensive. Does get you that rabbit's foot though. Can't afford it right now anyways. So that's going to be 6. <laughs> um, excuse me. So that guy's a duck. Nice. And I could water crop. Let's buy crops. Because I am frightfully low. Alright, and yeah, we're going to go pepper, blueberry, and melon. All right, and I also get a forgeable, so I'm gonna go with this. It's a, it's a rock, and we're gonna use that to descend in the mine. All right, there's some bug meat, so I'm gonna go to the mines as soon as I can. And it's summertime, so let's, or it's fall, the end of summertime. And we're gonna go for, let's see, I need bug meat. I need bug meat. And I need more of that stuff, so I guess we're going to go mining. When opening geodes, ooh, that's pretty good. I don't like that one a lot. In mineral green or stone. Well, that's exactly what I need because I only need to get one more mineral. So yeah, we'll replace the 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 glaive with that. All right. And yeah, 
That'll be that. So what's this next season? We got a quality crop. We water our crops. We move the fish. And we could sell stuff if we had stuff to sell. But we don't. Oh, look at this tuna. Look at this doofus. I love him. He's a good guy. Good guy. All right. Let's just get that mineral. No. Nope. Mineral, that's what I need. All right, so that's going to be my turn. Seems like a bit of a waste, you know, but it'll help in the long run. Come on. There we go. Water. Nice. It's going to be worth five because of my uh tiller. Players may distribute redistribute their friends to other players. That's totally useless to me. Great. Ah, well, whatever. I can get five dollars for my peppish. Which I'm gonna need, because I'm gonna need a chim ken. Alright. Uh oh yeah, and in my last turn, I will say because I have so many heart tokens that uh I pet my duck. Okay. Now that we have that, we're gonna come right over here, donate that, which I believe is an H. I don't know why I have so much trouble with that. Yep, so that tilts that for us. So now I just need 10 gold, some bug meat. Okay, yeah, we're doing pretty good. So let's hop up here, and we'll grab this. It's a wild plum, and we're going to the mine. Okay, uh, purple purple is two ore. Yeah, that could be helpful. Let's go with an iron and a gold, right? I'm pretty sure, let me double check that I didn't do that wrong. Oh, wait, 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 I have to actually check. Right, right, it's not just any ore. It's whatever's available. In this case, it's copper. Well, I don't need copper, so I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this to head up here for the, well, wait, do I want the monster result? I do, yeah, because that's a bug meat, perfect. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. Get my bug meat. Put that on the bottom so I don't forget where it needs to go. And that's my turn. Pretty good, pretty good. I will, uh, whoops, well, I messed that up, but honestly, I had turns where I would have done that, so. That's fine, that's fine. Overall, this, the sequencing is technically wrong, but it, it works out. Okay. What do we got? Quality. Nice. That, uh, uh, Fish move. Mm, and nothing special. A Joja tile? No! No! They're more expensive now! Three gold. That's fine. I'll get them rid of them at the end of my turn here. And yeah, I'll sell this for three. It's, um, it's a forageable and not a crop, so my tiller doesn't come into effect, but that's fine. All right, so I can't do that yet this turn, but that's okay. We're going to go here, donate the bug meat to gain an item. Hopefully it's something good. It's Lewis's Purple Shorts. May act as any resource tile when donating to a community center bundle. <sighs> Crap. I don't need that because all I need is gold now. Ah. Ah, uh, that's the thing about this game is it the randomness can really get you. That's the fickle, like Fancy Zeeling said. Oh, man. That's fine, though. We're just going to hop up here in search of ore. Oh, stone. Perfect. All right, I need some ore. Or rather, I need to move in the mines. Uh. Oh, monsters in both cases, so I will get... A bug meat. That's not exactly what I wanted. But that's not terrible. Alright, hop over here. Use a heart to get rid of that Joja tile. 
Um, I couldn't figure out in the rules whether it's it gets removed completely or it gets removed to the bag and sorted back in, but I, I'm saying removed completely, because heck, Joja. All right, event. Hopefully it's a one I can actually use. Magic Ink. If any player has Wizard as friend... Nope, nobody does, so useless. Now we got Joja. Collect from animals. Uh, that sucks, but whatever. Okay, so yeah, now we're gonna start on buy animals. And I will buy me a duck. Or a chimkin. I already have a duck. Alright, and that does that. Now we just need to find some iron. But how? I'm going to hop up here and I'm going to actually buy a couple more seeds because I'm not doing great on the uh, crop department. So we're going to do uh, three, which is blueberry, and a four. So another blueberry melon. Okay. Oh, and I should have been able to grab one of these. It's a wild plum, which I would have sold, of course, or another couple. Actually, I'll say one, and I will also buy a star fruit. Okay, and then we're going to hop back here. We're going to use this stone to descend in the mine to hopefully get... There's the iron. There's the iron I need. All right, we just need... 10 more gold, and I just need to find iron. So this is pretty straightforward. We're going to uh, set up the next season. And I need... Yeah, I need mining. I need something about ore. I may roll again. Uh, minerals. That's all for selling. I'll take the roll again. That's not too bad. And it will replace the geologist. Okay. Um, you know, actually, looking at the profession upgrades, am I allowed to switch the ones that are double-sided? Let me double-check here. Yeah, you gotta choose a side. Okay, so I was I was correct. That's fine. Into winter. Two gifts. Okay, so we will take the uh, three gold from Haley. And, uh... Oh! One ore from Sam! Which is the iron we need. Perfect. Okay. Perfect, perfect. Which I think brings us up to four. Okay. Yeah, we just need to make some money now. Which I can do quite easily by watering my crops. And I will sell that for six because I'm still a tiller, which I'll just switch these out for a 10, which is what I'm going to need. Um. Well, okay, I was going to move over and then do it, but the same thing, basically. Uh, whoop, and an artifact. What do I got? Nope, that's mineral. That's... Oh! They're double-sided. I don't know. Are they all double-sided? Let me check the rules here. Hold on, I'm just going to grab some random ones. Yes! Oh my god, they're all double-sided. I'm so dumb. I've been discarding stuff. Okay. Oh, crap. Yeah, that's dumb. Whatever. Uh, so, okay, I sold that, so I have enough money. I'm going to hop back up here for my turn, and I'm going to upgrade this, which gets us to there, which does this. So all I got to do is get to that community center. 
All right, fish move. Get a gift, which in this case I will get three coins. Uh, Joja tile, please don't be the community center. No, okay. It's the museum, which I've already done. And I can sell stuff. I'm not even going to bother because I'm just going to hop over here. I'm going to donate 10. And I'm done! I win! Alright, okay. I lost the first time pretty handily. It's whether or not you get that mine one. The get all the way to the bottom of the mine is like just so ridiculously hard because you can move one, two, maybe three levels in a turn, but like getting all 12 when you really only have 16 turns in the entire game, that's a tall order when you're playing alone. If multiple people are doing like the mine, probably not as hard, but like, yeah, gosh. Well, I won. Uh, it was the easier version, obviously. Like these basically, uh, they start out face down and you have to give hearts the hearts that you get from befriending people uh to even flip them over and see what they are which is it's very hard but it's more pure all that being said fun game fun game uh i did miss out on the physical copies i've said this before on stream feel real dumb about it but as soon as they go into reprint which is hopefully happening soon i don't know they haven't Given us an update. They said they are go going to do a second printing ASAP, which could take anywhere between like two to six months. Hopefully more like two, but that's still a few weeks away at the very least. But regardless, you know, I want to thank you very much for watching. Whether it's, uh, in fact, we'll move over to this. Hey, hi. Uh, I want to thank you very much for watching, whether it's in the past, the present, or the future. If you missed the beginning of the stream or want to see any of my past streams, you can check the past broadcast tab, which has the last 60 days worth of streams, or you can check out Iki Kid Twitch Archive on YouTube. That's four words. You can search, or there's a link down below on the browser version, and that has all of the streams I've ever done on this channel, about a year's worth. Um, uh, if you want to catch any future streams, there's a schedule down below with what game and what on what day. And if you click the line icon, I'll say what game and what hour and what day. But I am planning on doing more spontaneous streams, and all those sched schedules are subject to change. Oh my gosh, sorry, I'm I'm really guffing this up. Um, but that's all subject to change, and I'm gonna be doing more on a unscheduled streams. So if you want to make sure you don't miss any streams. Follow me on Twitter, at IggyDKid, and turn on notifications. I tweet out a half hour before I go live. One time it didn't work, though, so if you really want to be sure you don't miss any streams, follow me. Hit the heart icon. It's free for you. Helps out the stream a good deal. And you can get a notification through email, the, through email, the Twitch app, through, uh, you know, however you like it. Whenever I go live, it'll happen right as I go live. So that's a great way to do it. And if you'd be so kind, please consider subscribing. That one's not free for you, but there are three separate tiers that you could do, and each one comes with custom emotes. It's a monthly thing, and it would help out the stream a great, great deal, so I'd really appreciate it. And if you are an Amazon Prime subscriber, you can link your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account, and you get one free subscription a month, so I'd appreciate it if you considered giving me that free subscription. But... In any case, I want to thank you very much for inviting me into your home, your computer, your laptop, your tablet, your gaming console, your Roku, Apple TV, however it is you watch today. I really hope I brought some entertainment and levity into your life. I hope you'll join me on uh, Saturday for an Oath stream and maybe some other streams in the meantime. Who knows? Depends on how busy I am tomorrow or whatever. But that's the next planned one is Oath on Saturday, as usual. Probably going to keep them at like 7, like I've been doing. Feels, feels a little nicer. We're going to be starting a new Chronicle. That's going to be exciting. But in any case, if no one else has told you this, I'll tell you this. You're a good kid. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm going to see who we can, uh, who we can raid over to, so don't go away quite yet. i got to go grab my phone to see who's live, but uh, I'll just put this up. All right, one second. One second. Don't go anywhere quite yet. Okay, okay, um, let's see, who's live? Who's live right now to raid over to? 
We got Wolf Den Saura Streaming. Okay. That's who we're going with. So I'm going to raid you guys over to Saura Streaming. Tell them I sent you. Have a fun time. They're playing some Pokemon. And yeah, have a great rest of your day. All right. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Have a great night. Goodbye.